This may come as a shocker to a lot of you guys, my amigos and amigas, but I actually do enjoy watching the TV show 90 Day Fiance. Am I a crazy, insane fan and I watch all of the videos? No, no, but I do enjoy it from time to time. It's fun. Regardless, I found this video of this woman who's talking to her ex while she's, I believe, engaged. This woman has cheated on her ex-boyfriend, which is this fine gentleman right here, and she's currently engaged to some 22-year-old, 21-year-old from Venezuela, and she She's like 36. She cheated and she has no regrets. I'm excited because I haven't seen the full video. So let's just get right into this. And what did you guys do together? Like what, what is Everything. like? We were homecoming king, homecoming queen. We would have been uh, prom king and prom queen. But you but can't win both. Twice. You can't, can't win, win both. Twice. Yeah. I was best dressed. She was best dressed. How was with your relationship with, with, with Kara? Yeah, yeah. Wild, bro. What, what does it mean, wild? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, brother, I would be dying. I will be dying. I can't even lie. I don't know how he maintained his cool. I know he's 21, 22, a year younger than me, but I would be losing my shit inside. I think I will be crying, to be completely honest. If I was dating someone and that person brought their ex, for whatever reason, that's fucking weird, and I will never agree to that, but if that did indeed happen, and they were saying, oh yeah, we did crazy shit, dude. I, I sniffed cocaine out of her ass. I would be like, um, well, um... That's, that's very interesting. I didn't need to know that. You know he's dying inside, and let's just be honest here, we would too. Yeah, yeah. Wild, bro. What, what does it mean, wild? She's <laughs> crazy, she's crazy. Shut Kara up. Kara was so <laughs> controlling, bro. Like, if it don't go this way, Kara's losing it. I, I'm a visionary. Is she controlling with you? Like, she is right now a kind of person that likes to say what she wants, and she, yeah. She gets it, so, right? Yeah, yeah. All right, so this is what you do. Tell her no, bro. No. No, 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 no. Say no, bro. Say it. No. If you don't feel the same way, say no. Because I ain't gonna lie, Kara's controlling. You know that. You know when you're talking, not badly, but not in the best light possible about someone else, and they're like, yeah, I'm pretty controlling. These are just a few red flags. Number one, she's still talking to her ex. That's like, a major red flag number two she's fucking insane she's controlling i mean i could not be with someone like that you cannot control me no one can control sensitive society i'm just i'm just out there <laughs> in all seriousness though i've seen a few of their videos i've seen a few of their clips they do not look compatible how many red flags do we have number one she's still talking to her ex tremendous red flag i would never date someone who's still talking to their ex why why not delete him i don't care who it is i would immediately break up with them number two she's insane <laughs> and I believe she has a drinking problem too. I've seen it on another clip. So not fun to have a drinker 24 seven with you. And amigos and amigas, it gets worse. Feel so bad for this guy. This guy needs to run, run amigo, jump the border again. Take the fucking boat, just leave. You know that I'll see it in your face. <laughs> I'm looking at you right now. You're like, yeah, she is bro. Yeah. <laughs> I have goals and I have aspirations and I have plans. And so when they don't go, she loses it. You know he's rethinking the whole fucking trip. <laughs> you know he's rethinking everything he knows and stands for. He's like, what did I just get myself into? Why couldn't we just smash one time and let that be? Still hung up on the fact that this woman thought it was a good idea for her current boyfriend slash fiance to meet her ex-boyfriend who, according to them, wild crazy times and she's wild. I would have checked out of that. I don't oh, see them dear. working out. And the reason why is because, you know, he's kind of shy, kind of quiet. He's not enough man, you know what I mean? So, Kara's gonna control that. If it don't go her way, there's no way. Best of luck. <laughs> best of luck to him, man. Like, best of luck to him. Regardless of what I think about Karen or Kara or whatever the fuck her name is, this guy seems kind of chill. He seems like a vibe. And now I'm really interested on why they broke up. Like, what happened? Did he cheat? Did she cheat? I mean, if you read the title, you, you, you know what happened. The guy seems like a cool guy. I'm not even gonna lie, bro. We were up each other's asses. Because yeah, we were young, like bro. We love. were young. You know, we like, yeah, we yeah. were. I'm not gonna lie. We were in love bad. Yep, that's what you want to hear. <laughs> oh, yeah. I fucked her like 20 million times, dude. We were in love. I hit that shit raw. <laughs> I had her doing shit you've never seen or you've never done, yo. <laughs> I, I feel so bad for him. I cannot imagine hearing this from a person that was dating. Oh, yeah. You know, me and her, we fucked all the fucking time. Yeah, we fucked in the bus and the car and the park and the playground at night. I'd be like, <laughs> those are some fun wild times. <laughs> 
<laughs> yep. I mean, she's never done that with me, but yeah, that, that's, that's good. I'm happy for you guys. Dude, you're getting cocked in person. I would leave immediately. I will get the first flight back and I will fucking run for my life. Not worth it. We were alone. Uh, you know, we were like, yeah, we were, I'm not gonna lie, we were in love bad. <laughs> what happened? They call it puppy But what happened? Oh, but you want me to be honest, I mean. Go ahead. I, I would love to hear this, we've never talked about it. So I was at college, and I went back home for a break. And we were laying in the bed, <laughs> her phone went off. Whoa. She sleep, I'm up. Why is she so fucking excited to hear this cheating story? Oh yeah, I cheated on you. That was hilarious. That was hilarious. And now I want you to listen, you fucking bitch. Listen to this story because I'm gonna do the same thing to you. It's about to go down, guys. It's about to go down. And I went back home for a break. And we were laying in the bed. <laughs> her phone went off. Whoa. She sleep. I'm up. So I would go through her text messages. She was like, it was so good seeing you. Like that kiss was amazing. What do you think I did? Yeah, you probably lost Woke it. Woke her up out of her sleep. Middle of the night. Said, what is this? Through the phone, I left. How would you be sleeping with someone and actually kissing another person? I'd never trust a woman again. Never. Yeah, I mean, I was having a great time, and now I feel for the... <laughs> I feel for the guy. I feel for both of them. Like the ex boyfriend, he seems chill, and the new one. So when I hear shit like this, you know, it hurts my feelings because I feel bad for this guy over here. I feel bad that he feels like he cannot trust another woman again. And I can't really blame him. Not everyone's the same. Not everyone's a liar or a cheater or a manipulator. Like a lot of things I say, it's easier said than done. But at the same time, shouldn't let that one thing, one incident, which is horrible and tragic and fucking, I feel bad for you, but shouldn't let that thing affect the rest of your life and the rest of your relationships. It's a healing process. It must have really scarred him. And I'm sure he is still in love with her. And I would not like to be the Venezuelan guy right now. <laughs> Sleeping with someone and actually kissing another person. I'd never trust a woman again. Never. He seems pretty hurt by it, even if it's been 10 to 15 years later. I feel for the guy. I feel for the guy, 100%. We have our fourth and final red flag. She's a cheater. It's like, how many more signs do you need to see? She's an alcoholic. She has a drinking problem. She's a cheater. It just keeps adding up. At this point, it's not worth it. This guy's semi-famous because of a 90 Day Fiance. I'm sure he has a lot of people in his DMs, a lot of hot girls. So, yeah, just pick someone and fuck her. I don't know. But this woman, Kara or Kara or whatever the fuck her name is, she's not worth your time. She's a ticking time bomb. And if she did it once, if she did it once to a, a thing, if I'm not mistaken, I heard they were together for a, quite a while. So if she did this to a long term boyfriend, you know, what do you expect when it's your turn? I personally would never date anyone who's cheated. I didn't remember any of that. Like in my mind. But is it truth or not? When he said that, I was like, oh yeah, I did kiss that guy in massage school. You know what I'm saying? Like it all came back, but like for 10 years, I literally hadn't thought about it. Because she's done it before. <laughs> it's not her first time. It's not her first time cheating on someone. This isn't a fucking red flag. This is the US alarm systems going off when North Korea launches a fucking atomic bomb to the USA. Damn. It was pretty heavy. Like, uh, if you got all the trust in her, great. But the one moment she shows you, you can't trust her, go about your life, bro. That's speaking from man to man, I'm telling you right now. I agree with everything the ex-boyfriend said. But once again, I am a very pity person. Uh, I'm not proud of it, but it's just the way I am. So if I ever got done dirty like this, and I'm like, oh yeah, so your girl has been fucking everyone, just a, a major cheater. Since I'm a very pity person, and I just don't stop the clowning till I am satisfied enough, I would not stop trying to clown on that person and get back. That's just what I do. That's just what I do. I've always been like that. Maybe I have a mental illness. I just never stop. <laughs> Whether that's good or bad, 
I don't know, but when the time comes, I will get my payback. Anyways, guys, what do you guys think of this situation? And would you like more 90 Day Fiance videos? I love this show, so I really had a great time reacting to this. Thank you very much for watching. The video is over, but I will now be answering the questions that I've received via Super Thanks, a new feature that if you want me to answer anything, you can donate $2, you know, whatever you feel comfortable with. And at the end of every single video, I will answer all the questions I have for that day. So let's just get right into it. The first one is a $50 Super Thanks. Holy shit <laughs> that's crazy wow thank you so much i really do fucking appreciate that thank you so much for the 50 thank you very much gabriele kind of got a fat bonus at work and i figured it was time to enter the sugar mama face of my life <laughs> uh please please be <laughs> please do please do i'm kidding but in all seriousness i appreciate your videos so much they always make me laugh and your perspective is a breath of fresh air it's been great to be an amiga for so long and i finally got to thank you for it. enjoy my taco king also do you think netflix is worth keeping as a streaming service what shows do you recommend giving a watch right now because i need my summer picks so i personally almost never watch netflix the only thing i watch netflix for is better call Saul, which is a fantastic show that everyone should be watching so I recommend watching Better Call Saul on Netflix or Avatar The Last Airbender. Those are two shows that I'm watching right now. If you like food shows, I recommend Somebody Feed Phil. It's on Netflix too. I think I might cancel my Netflix account because Better Call Saul is on break right now and it comes out and it comes back to July 11th, if I'm not mistaken. So, you know, there's really no reason for me to keep Netflix. Uh, I don't recommend it. But once again, thank you so much for the $50. I do appreciate it a lot. Repair Gang with the five. Thank you very much. What made you start a channel and what made you go almost daily upload? But I started this channel back when I was uh, in high school. I think I was about to graduate graduate so i think i was 17 or 18 and i was just really bored all the time i didn't go out that much so i just decided to start a youtube channel and it's been the best decision i've ever made and the reasons why i almost do daily videos is for a few things the more you upload the more youtube recommends your content the more youtube recommends your channel and the more money you make another one is i like to upload i love making videos and i love entertaining people knowing that 30 40 50 60 thousand they're gonna watch it in a day is really fucking feels great and i'm glad people are enjoying it a lot Repair gang with a two. Yo, what's it like being a chat? I gotta lie, feels pretty good. <laughs> View with two dollars. I love your content sensitive. It's refreshing to see your commentary that we can all relate to. Keep clowning on people. Thank you so much for the two dollars. Australian, I believe. And thank you for watching. I love getting back from work, a fast food place, and watching a new video of a man clowning on customers. <laughs> what a treat. Referring to the last video I dropped, some customers must be clowned on my amigo. Bubble Beth says, I love your videos and have been binge watching them ever since I discovered you. Usually I don't donate to content creators, but I feel it's worth it. Keep doing what you do. That's so nice of you, Beth. I appreciate it big time. Thank you, my amiga. I'm glad you've been binging the content. <laughs> There's like 500 videos you can binge. Nicole Bolas. Thank you, Nicole, for the $10. It's a Morbian time. It is indeed Morbian time. Morbius. <laughs> The number one movie on the Apple TV app. <laughs> a fucking Morbius movie. Death to Eric with the five. Love you, bro. No question. But thank you very much. Appreciate it. And our last donation of the day comes from God in Stereo YouTube with the two. I love you, amigo. Get you a taco. I definitely will. Who's your favorite band slash musician? My favorite band is probably... It always keeps changing. Sometimes it's Green Day. Sometimes it's the band Ghost. The Red Hot Chili Peppers. It rotates. But I think my favorite band, I think it's Green Day. I think Green Day might be my favorite band of all time. But my favorite musician has to be Eminem, Kanye, Logic, Kendrick. But if I only had to pick one and I could only listen to one or see one of them live, I would go with Mr. Eminem, Mr. Bornana. Thank you so much for the $2. And if you guys want me to answer anything, use the super thanks feature and I will get right on it. All right. Thank you so much. Much love. And thank you for watching. You're the go.